we are on this is no you're welcome in this is critter another wheel of time content creator uh we are live right now on the red carpet and i have been told this area is where i'm supposed to be which you know i'm here so great um it's a bit cramped but i'll do the best i can uh, i may at one point just pull the camera off and that will be what we do at that point uh, so if you ha if you don't follow Critter, I'd love to promote you real quick. Oh, she's on TikTok. If you look up Wheel of Time, she's gonna be there. You're like the number one Wheel of Time TikToker. I, I, that's a really nice thing, but maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry if the audio is a bit garbled. We are crammed, and uh, we are. In, there's a limo that pulled up, and we are. Yeah, no, go right I'm sorry, ahead. I'm sorry. I don't want to crash the live. Uh, my, name is, my name is Mr. Isla, and I'm here. On behalf of Prime Video. Yeah. Same. I am here on behalf of Prime Video. And uh, we're supposed to be masked up, aren't we? Oh, shoot. I thought we were supposed to be masked up. Daniel Henney has the largest security guard ever. Oh, my lord. Yes, he does. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do this. <laughs> we're going to come out of here. And we're going to have a great old time this way. Uh, well, this. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. Oh, you guys know Nablus. That's Justin Nablus, so there you go. How are you doing? Oh, uh, stressed? <laughs> Same. Um, and uh, Amanda the Jedi's around here somewhere. We're having a great time. Oh, wow, look. What side am I on? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a great time. This is actually terrible they took all my friends away and were like you just need to stand here and wait and i was like but why <laughs> so you're just been told stand and wait well then i came over here and then they're like go take your pictures on the red carpet because you're an influencer but i'm like i'm surrounded by people with millions of followers and no one knows who i am it's great why am i here <laughs> we're all a bit confused and flustered uh but we're having a great time they have a massive gateway over there and another one uh, back there. Am I annoying so you by doing no, this? No, no, you're not. I'm okay. To make sure I'm not in your shots. Okay, I'm just, you I'm get in it. I'm annoy you. No, get in it, man. <laughs> you're welcome to share it. I'm sharing this with him now. <laughs> it's all love, it's all love. It's yeah, all love. pretty much. Um, and then we got Jason from Dragon Mount. Hello. Hi. Hey, Daniel, how are you? I'm over here. So. You, yeah. you got Yep. Hey, Daniel, it's great. And um, Daniel, um, uh, he and I, we had some lovely conversation earlier um, about all sorts of things I completely forgot about because we were both really, really nervous. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's a great oh, pin. Uh, let's do a close up of the pin. This is what we're. <laughs> and uh, oh, sorry, am I like all up in your grill? Wait, I'm going to live stream your live stream. Oh. Okay, and I guess technically I'm probably live streaming your live stream then too. This, <laughs> they planned this out very well. <laughs> and, um, here's the, here's, uh, well, I should probably show you guys the, uh, I sh I'm going to tell you, here's the, oh, wait, no one else is wearing a mask, so I, I, everyone here has been COVID tested like eight times. So we're just going to do that. Yeah, we're all net. Well, I'm positive in life. Yes, negative <laughs> in, in, in COVID and pregnancy. <laughs> well, you're, you're pre you heard it here first. He is indeed pregnant. I'm interviewing um, Daniel while he's live with Critter's face in the shot, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to... Um, hello. Did I Hi. What? Um, Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hello. Oh, wait. What happens if we touch mics? Never cross streams. We touched mics. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'll show you guys. This is... I don't know what you expected from me at a red carpet, but... I tried to have a professional setup with a tripod, um, but they've created, they've put us in this uh, nice little six by six spot. So tripods don't conduce to that. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I am. And this is Matt from the Dusty Wheel. You all know Matt. Matt is the greatest person. Oh, I had a super chat. Hold up. What's the? I missed your super chat. I'm so sorry. Um, but we have a bunch of TikTok influencers and stuff over there. They are playing. I don't know if you can hear Justin right now. They're playing the uh, audio cuts when I hold the mic too close. That's my vibe. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hi. How are you guys doing? I hope it's good. Um, have fun, dude. I am having fun. Uh, okay. Mic too close. All right. I'll hold it down here. That's better. This is better. 
so How are you doing today? I'm doing I'm doing lovely. I'm, I'm doing lovely as well. Um, they're doing. Can you hear the epic music, guys? What's my hot? I haven't seen the show yet. I don't know. Don't escape, but turn around. Wow. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the real pre professionals. Um, and there's a bunch of TikTokers out there and YouTubers and influencers. My people, I guess. Not really. Not actually important. I know that. Hello and welcome to the BFI Can you guys hear that? Most anticipated crime video events of the year. I am absolutely delighted to be here at the premiere, the world premiere of Robert Jordan's I don't know who's saying these words. Which has finally been adapted to our screens and has been long term. Now, very, very shortly, I'm going to be joined by some of the leaders of the show. Until then, sit down, get comfortable, and we'll be back with you soon. Cast members should be showing up soon, I've been told. Matt, I love you. What's up? <laughs> you know this guy's legit because he's got a guy. <laughs> no, not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Amanda the Jedi. What's up? Amanda the Jedi. Uh, we became best friends today, actually. Because we both love Portrait of a Lady on Fire. We both love Portrait of a Lady on Fire. <laughs> and she was there whenever I, we saw the, the Piccadilly yeah, Circle. Yeah, the Piccadilly Circle. The oh, my God. Advertising, amazing. which is amazing. So Someone just asked so, Premier uh, Friday. I hope not, because that means I'd have to stand here for that long. Yeah. <laughs> Here is true. the red That's carpet. That's, That's what a red carpet so looks like. Clothes. It's surprisingly no, blue. I didn't blue. see that coming, to be honest. Um, that guy did not look happy that I put him in my live stream. See. <laughs> so there's some influencers. I don't know who they are. Apparently, I was with someone who was huge on TikTok and like millions of followers. I don't know who they are. Now let's get to asking Amanda the Jedi some questions. Uh, Amanda, <laughs> how do you feel about Randall Thor? <laughs> I think that's a misunderstood. <laughs> I'm going to have to have my arm up for an hour. <laughs> All right. So, um, as you can see, this man is holding a camera. I don't know who he is, but he seems very nice. I hope he is willing to get lunch with me tomorrow. That would be fun. Um, there's another man with a luscious beard over there. And it's two luscious beards in one direction. You guys are really making do here. This is tight. This is tight. I don't know if you guys have tried to work around tripods before, but whoever organized this hasn't. <laughs> No wonder they didn't want me to come with you. They're like, man, there's no room. There's just no room for you in that circle. I can tell you the greatest part of uh, this trip so far, Amanda's a wonderful person. Oh, thank you. So beautiful. It's been wonderful getting to know Amanda the Jedi. If you're not subscribed to her, do it. Um, and that'd be one Hello. Hello. Uh, that's Amanda the Jedi on YouTube. And Daniel will be featuring in my Wheel of Time coverage video. So. She's bigger than me, so as a sellout hack fraud, I have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me demonetized. <laughs> Alright, my arm's getting tired, so I'm going to bring you guys in nice and close here. Uh, oh, I'm coming over to Jason. I'm going to move over to Jason. Bringing Daniel Green over here, the internet world famous Green Goblin. Right? And I've never so, been called a Dream Goblin. I, I didn't say Dream. I, said, I mean, you, you can be my Dream Goblin. That's I'm a Dream I'm Goblin. Dream Goblin. <laughs> so, so for the like five people on the internet who don't know you, why don't you tell, how long have you been reading The Wheel of Time? I, first, I want to ask you, how many people do you think are on the internet? <laughs> uh, sorry, what your question was? How long have you been reading The Wheel of Time? I first read it when I was 11, I think. Uh, so that would be, I'm 27, so that would be uh, 16 years, six, yeah, 16 years years ago oh my god my wheel of time can drive anyway I know right I know I thought about like yeah my website can can drink and do all sorts of stuff right now but <laughs> so the you you started reading them at 11 yeah holy moly I remember specifically I was oh Yosha's here there's Randall Thor over there can you I don't know what I'm pointing at so I would like to thank this shot to the person who decided to put us in this little tiny six right by six space. 
is Daniel Hedy. But we have Daniel Hedy and Yosha over there, looking fantastic. Um, and yeah, Jason, how long have you been reading Wheel of Time? I've been reading Wheel of Time since 1994, I believe. So, yeah. um, so whatever, however many years. That was that the was. year I was born, so 27 years. Oh, it's a little bit. Of there you go, a little bit longer than you. And maybe uh, I was on the same day. The wheel wove in such a way that I picked up the book and started reading the day that you were born on Dragon Mouth. It was so, November. You're right. You know. So, oh, right. Uh, yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. We're on to this. Um, so this is people. If you want to see them. I can see Yosha and I saw Daniel, but I don't know where they went. Oh, wow. Hello. Wow, there is 2,500 of you. To the 2,575th person, how's your day going? Is it good? Um, so the Wheel of Time show, as you saw, they just dropped a new trailer. It looked pretty darn good. Uh, I was a fan of it. Critter, I am all up in your shot. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Look, it's Daniel Green, everybody. I already introduced him. But... I can vouch for the fact that Critter is a wonderful human being. Aw. Uh -uh. I can say yeah. the same about Daniel. No. Aw. Uh, uh, they're doing all their, like, photos. So I'm just holding the mic to my chest to get the right distance. I'm just holding it right tucked in there. Um, uh, they also gave us our own private network. And uh, and I hope that it's uh, a good enough network. This stream is nice. Because I can't go on data. I'll give you guys the people you want to see. There's Yosha. Wow, he is a tall man. He's a tall man. He's a but very tall man. Would expect from some I would say I can confirm he seems to be as but, tall yeah, as they're, Rand. They're at He's us. looking over at us. Hello. Uh, oh, I accidentally yeah, just flipped, flipped him off. Saying, I accidentally hey, just raised my middle finger to waste hello. hello. That was not what I meant to do. Did you want to switch back or do you, are you happy Oh, I'll switch back. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going over. I'll put my back to this guy. We, Me and this guy agreed to go back to back. So that's what we'll do here to, to save space. Um, is that them? No, no, the person directly behind me is not them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're getting their instructions, it they're seems. We've us. been told they that they have been given two minutes to speak to all of us, so I'm okay, trying to think what question... I had a few, but now I just gotta go with one. We just saw Justin take a maybe fall. This is a rapid development, breaking news. Justin might fall. Nameless. Sorry, nameless. Is what that is. Um, <laughs> um, why did they put us in a cage? I do not know. Um, well, you can't trust me. Why would they not put me in a cage? You know what I mean? Um, we are all going to so interview I'm, them at the same time, basically. Yep. Yeah. Oh, guys, we should all put our mics at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Wait, touch my mic again. Guys, look at this mic action. Where else do you get this kind of mic, mic action? Mic on mic. Mic on mic. That's Nate's, by the way. <laughs> um, Daniel Henney getting his shots. Looking wonderful. That is Landman Dragoran. I will say, I'm super excited to see this show. I love all the arrows on the board. That is so cool. Uh, we have gateways. They really did like a whole set here that is amazing looking. Um, we have Yosha uh, looking, looking he's going to go up after Lan. They did put Lan first. Love that. And they are looking good. I thought I looked okay. They are looking much better. Yosha um, <laughs> uh, Will this be unveiled on YouTube after? Yeah, I'm going to leave this up. Um, there's more of Critter's stream. Hey, let's let our audiences meet. Uh, go oh. Goblins, say hello. What do you call your audience? Uh, I don't have a name for my audience. We get to name. Can we name your audience? Let's name my audience. Absolutely. We're the Goblins. Do you want to be the White Oaks? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I would just say the Tower. Uh, we'll, we'll call us the Tower for now. The Tower for now. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, don't keep it. For, it's a bad. I just came up with it. I'm sorry. Um, but that's for her tonight, audience. We're the tower, okay? All right, but let's go back. Now Yosha is taking his shots. Um, there's, oh, Daniel Henney is much closer. I am very nervous. He is looking sensational. Um, why are they all so tall? The entirety of the cast is very tall. Um, I need to make sure that when they actually come over, I have a shot. Oh, there, Daniel Henney is looking over here. I'm nervous. Hello. Okay, he walked by. He walked on by. <laughs> um, Egwinis, somebody just came up because I'm Egwene. The Egwinis. Great name for them. That was Daniel Haney, he plays Lamb. That's what I thought. You just in front of 2,500 people said, is that an actor? is that an actor? Because I couldn't see him. I just couldn't see him. I just saw a bunch of people swarming somebody. Yeah. And there's Yosha. That's the main character of the Wheel of Time. Um, that is the main character. Uh, and now we have, look at this blue carpet. That's a really nice carpet. I would like to compliment the premiere on their wonderful set design and carpeting. 
Um, he is being officially interviewed by the real media. Um, old media, I should say. We're real media. Um, let's see, I don't know. Okay, they're over there now doing the real press stuff. Not really bothering with it much else. With, I, I mean, I'm, I'm flustered. <laughs> Um, I am new media, so you know we don't we don't get to put. I like that they actually separate us the old media. You know that's fun. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Everyone's looking pretty good. There is Yosha. Oh, hello. How's it going? How are you? Are you having a good premiere so far? I am. Yeah. It is. Uh, it's good to finally meet you. You know. Uh, same back yeah, to I you. Yeah, I appreciate your work. I, thank you so much. Um, have you? So I'm blanking a little bit in front of 3,000 people. But how is, you guys are filming again soon, correct, right? Yeah, we're shooting actually this week. Um, so you're gonna be very jet lagged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a flight tomorrow morning at like 6 a.m. So we have to get back to Prague to the, well, not the two rivers, but yeah. to Prague. <laughs> yeah. So uh, go, you guys go oh, sure. ahead. Uh, Yosha, I know you're- I don't wanna steal, there's other content creators here. I don't wanna like, right. I love. Do you have a favorite so far? I think um, my favorite one is uh, book three and, and four. Excellent yeah, three and four. I love that. Okay. Yeah. Jason, go right ahead. And then here is the Justin. Hi. How did meeting the cast go? I haven't done it yet, so I'm a, I'm next. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's that's, 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 that's going to be a popular answer. Appreciate it, sir. So, yeah, yeah. congratulations on the, on the thing, so for the opportunity, and everything else. May I shake your hand? So. Of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, congratulations. I'd love to shake your hand, but I'm holding a mic. But may I ask, what Aja would you be? Oh, that was going to be the question. I'm so sorry. Um, well, it must be, must be blue, I guess. Fair enough. Good answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, is that the Rand answer or the Yosha answer? Uh, a bit of both. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. So, so I, I'm Nablus. Uh, my question for you is this: What about this role? Like, saw this, you you read for it. Like, what made you want to take this role on, knowing that you might be this character for a long time? Um, I mean, it's Rand. You yeah. know, I guess you all are aware of his arc. Yeah. And um, you, you I guess you all are aware of how far Rand goes. And as an actor, that's something I want to do as well. So, I'm very excited. Yeah. That's awesome. This character is a character that goes through, I don't want to give any spoilers, but severe amounts of emotional growth, trauma, and development. As an actor, is that something that you kind of took as a challenge? Or like, how do you approach the growth of Randall Thor throughout the series? Step by step, you know, with, I know, I'm aware of what happens in the books and I'm aware of his potential and his arc. But first, season one, it's just, you know, he starts in the two rivers and I have to make sure that I'm not getting ahead of things. Did you, was it hard to capture the country bumpkin vibe? <laughs> no, 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 no. So, um, other than Randall Thor, what, who's your favorite character? In the books? In the books. Um, I really enjoy Pan and Fane and uh, Loyal. Those are my favorite characters, favorite. besides of, of Rand, of course, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Fair enough. Okay. So, 12 years ago, I named my daughter Avienda. Oh, you did. What name do you think is going to come out of the series that's going to be big in the next nine months? Oof. <laughs> no pressure. <Oof>. Tim? <laughs> Good answer. Well, Tim. Fair enough. Thank you, right Thank you Yosha. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. I got it together at the end there, I think, a little bit. I hope. I just turned around and he was there. He was just right there. Tim is a great answer. I would have gone with Matt. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to get Daniel Honey here shortly. I don't know why I'm Oh, you wanted to talk to Daniel? You want to talk to Daniel? Daniel, we're going to talk to Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Can um, we touch mics again? It's my favorite thing. I don't know what that sounds like for you, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> we touched the tips, at least. I, I, we're going to get to monetize. <laughs> oh, man. So, we are... So I'm going to give you the... This is the shot you all wanted. I know you did. Hi. Let me give you a tour of our space while we're waiting. Um, we have, here's our blue rope. Um, how's it going? The 
blue rope so well. Um, we have a photographer here with great tattoos, and uh, blue seems to be the theme. I think Amazon has chosen their favorite Aja, and they're just letting us know. Uh, there's, 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 there's a clear bias here for the blue Aja, and as someone who identifies as a red, uh, excuse me, uh, this is Nabeless, so someone just ask. Say hi. Hi, I'm Nabeless. Yes. Oh, and there's a camera. And there's the news. I almost just headbutted a thousands of dollar camera. How's it going, camera? I couldn't hear what the camera said. Um, all right, so let's do a little more of a shot above. This is boom, boom. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but uh, that was fun. Uh, it seems Daniel Henney's already doing the old media while Yosha was doing the new, so I don't know if they're going to swap back uh, or not. I am wearing blue, but I'm definitely red Aja. Because they get it done. They're the Aja that gets it done, you know what I'm saying? Then there's, there's someone wearing red. <laughs> I really wish I was on a tripod. I wish I had the room for that. Um, okay, so... Uh, we will be watching uh, some episodes tonight, and then uh, I will be giving you guys my spoiler-free review first. And then uh, once the show's actually out, I can do the spoiler-filled review after that. That's the, um, that's the plan. Uh, Justin, he has the advantage of height. <laughs> I do not have that advantage. The of beautiful, being tall? Yes, the wonderful I was, advantage. I was holding my, my, my camera up like in the air. <laughs> Oh, there's Madeline Madden. Oh, wait, no, that's not. I just confused her. <laughs> it, I saw her from the side, and I was like, oh, short female black hair. That's got to be it. No. Um, oh, it's just more TikTokers. <laughs> oh, there's Madeline. <laughs> I don't know. I saw side profile, and I made a jump. Um, oh. <laughs> Here's Marcus Rutherford. I'm actually playing a Trollic. <laughs> and I'm the stunt double for Loyal. Ah, now yeah, that fits. All right. James Toulis, how you doing, James? Um, so they got, I don't, I'm going to try and get you guys a shot of this poster. Um, here is the poster. Not that man. This, that's the poster. He could be a poster if he wants, you know. It looks good. Um, got a wonderful sweeping... They have chosen the uh, that poster to be like the main advertising. It seems it's been all over London. Uh, it really has been everywhere. And then, oh, Critter seemed to have get a text. I see that now on her screen. Um, let's see. You guys can hear okay, right? Am I talking at an okay volume? Greetings from Finland. Hello back, Finland. I love you. I love Finland. I love every country. Except for France. And you know what you did. <laughs> uh, sounds good? Too? Good. If I was going to do the premiere, I would have put a red carpet. Or yellow. Nah, yellow, I don't want, I don't think a yellow carpet will look that good. Yeah, the music sounds good. Is it not overwhelming? I hope it's not. Hello from Portugal. Hello back to Portugal. I love your country. Um, here's Jason again. And then uh, here's our here's our full setup going on. There's Matt from the Dusty Wheel. I'd love to talk to Matt, but we, we are too far apart. There's Yosha some more. Um, there's an extremely sparkly dress. And... Just everyone having a grand old time. I keep stepping on my mic wire, so if you suddenly lose audio, it's because I'm not very smart and I ripped it out. <laughs> yes. Hello from Brazil. Hello back. Um, all right, more people are coming in over there. Apparently there's limos rolling up slowly throughout the night. Um, if you guys check Twitter, I retweeted an amazing billboard that they put up here in London that is so cool. It's got like this incredible 3D effect. I personally have never seen anything like it. Very impressive. And uh, the police are now driving by. I hope not for here. They caught me. They finally caught me. Okay. Um, hello from Argentina. Hello back, Argentina. Wow, the entire world is tuning into this, it seems. Any jet lag? Lots. Um... 
I need, okay, really dark in that corner over there, and I keep thinking I see cast members, but it's just a dark corner. Maybe there's fades. Okay. <laughs> oh, we have a fight breaking out between Justin and, uh, Justin. <laughs> Let's see if, honestly, my money's on Justin. Oh, this is the biggest live stream I've ever done. How's the quality of the video? Is it pretty good? I hope it is. <laughs> Hi from Syria. Wow. Hope you're doing well. Wow. There really is. It's kind of amazing to see people from all over the world in chat right now. I've never seen such an amazing. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I can't feel my feet. Same. Same. Uh, I do like your shoes, though. Oh, thank you. Well, thank Let's you. get them in front of the audience. Thank you, thank you, We're thank doing you, a shoe you. show. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Sorry, this is my entire brand. <laughs> that is the sparkliest dress. Yes, it is. It's very sparkly. Um, if there's anyone who couldn't get their hands on some sparkles today. What's the most uh, exciting part for you when you do stuff like this? Just letting my mouth run <laughs> and seeing what comes out. <laughs> That's the best answer. Yeah, just whatever happens, happens. Uh, has there been a celebrity that you've met where you couldn't contain your excitement? Just now, Yosha. <laughs> <laughs> just, just now, I tried to ask a question and went, I can't. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> Someone else. He's piercing eyes, doesn't he? Like, he does. And I thought he was tall. Jesus. <laughs> no. Very tall man. Um, we do see the best mustache on the red carpet right there. The best mustache. There's an amazing mustache walking by. I don't know if you guys saw it. That was a very good mustache. Um, and uh, more people coming down. Deep breaths. I'm calm. I calm down. I don't know where Amanda the Jedi went. She's right. fun. I'm back. Yeah, you are. Twitter, can I interview you? Are you guys live on Instagram? YouTube. YouTube. I'm a oh. YouTuber. Oh, nice. Yeah. nice, nice. What would you do? I'm, I'm a fantasy nerd, basically. How about yourself? Uh, I'm... I'm a filmmaker, actor, Oh, but I also do YouTube. Okay, nice. Yeah, so I'm on YouTube. If you type in Corner Shop, it's a comedy series that I made. Okay. So. Everyone go find out what movies he's in, rate them five stars, or ten stars on IMDb. Um, get him trending. That's Thank what you. Should do. Yeah. Thank you. What can they find him? Uh, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Mr. Isla, M-I-S-T-A-H, I-S-L-A-H. There you go. There you if go. you want, if you're in his audience and you like... Um, Books. How did you <laughs> I'm the book guy. Oh, have you read all the books? Yes, I have read the. I, that's yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have it tattooed on my body. We're, we're, we're fans. He's got here. a wheel on the back of his on, on his back. No, on my arm. I have a bunch of the chapter markers. Yeah. And he's got all the names of every single character all over his arms. That would be a bit weird. Yeah. That I wouldn't do. Yeah, I mean, that like, would be a bit like, much. How many characters? Is that? Two, Eight thousand or something? It's a lot. It's, it's a lot. more, yeah. and a lot of them are perspective. Even just really the perspective good. characters would be yeah. way too much. Yeah. There's a lot of names you gotta remember. Yeah. How many books have you read of the series? I've start, I started the first two, okay. so I'm, I'm guilty. I don't know all of them. Have you, you started reading at the same time, just one in each hand? I read when I heard the news about the, the series being made. Mm. I was intrigued, so I started. Nice. But nice. Then, yeah, this I've got is a lot to catch up. All the people over in this direction, they're just the super wheel of time nerds. They're the, yeah. Uh, this is the line. But we're working together to get this done. Yes. We are working together. Yes. YouTubers stick together. Both yes, they do. We're live there and recording there. Daniel, hop on in and then we, and then Daniel's here too. I am here sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we're doing a photo? No, we're just all on each other's live streams right now. Yeah. We're just live everywhere. And more. You're and live more. in his life and he's live in your life. It's live exception. You're really. live in each other. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, yes, all right. So I'll switch over here. You're so using my mic, so. My yes, arm awesome. is very I tired. I don't know why I'm using I'd love to mic. have a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to hook back into my tripod. We'll see how this goes. Uh, you don't like the chaos of. I do. I personally love it. Oh, that's your tripod. Where did my. Oh, mine's. Oh. Never mind. Screw my tripod. No, <laughs> screw my tripod. It's gone. It's dead to me. You know what? I'm going to go. Just all this mic. Oh, you had two mics? Look at him, fancy two mics. Yeah. I'm just going to use this one because I keep doing it anyway. Look at how large that bodyguard is. I mean, legitimately. Oh, my God. He's about to walk by. I would not mess with this dude at all. Look at this. Here we go. That's a big man. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Very handsome too. I wanted to interview the bodyguard. Yeah, I know. Like, do they also make him attractive? Because he's an attractive bodyguard. What is bodyguard. it like to murder people with your bare hands? Like... Justin would know. Actually, that's something he does many times. <laughs> I don't know who this Justin guy is. Yeah, and then. Hello, everyone who's watching Daniel Green's channel. I feel so famous just being a 
on your channel. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you guys heard that, but he said he felt famous being on my channel. Um, and then let's look at her stream. What, what do we... Again, we're doing stream reception. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't know. They took away Amanda the Jedi. The best friend I've made here is gone. Lost. I'm hoping Daniel Henney comes back because I do want to talk to him. Daniel Henney's doing like a circuit, impressive amount of uh, interviewing, answering going on over there. Um, that takes stamina. Like you got to respect people who can do interview after interview after interview. That's not easy. So mad respect for that. God, I love this music. This is good music. And no, I can't continue the live stream in the premiere. I know you guys want me to. I know, but I can't. It's not happening. Don't worry. I'll be this energetic for two more hours. <laughs> Um, let's see. All right, hold up. Let's. Uh, nope. Okay, hold up. You're killing it, Daniel. Embrace the chaos like a pro. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. I've gotten at least one of those now. Um, <laughs> will you talk to Sanderson? I don't. Is Sanderson here? I don't. Does anyone know if Sanderson's here? I don't know if he'll be here. I bet he would be. Yeah, I, don't I know. bet he's coming. Yeah. Um, I've talked to Sanderson like three times. He's a really nice guy. Everyone I've talked to involved with this is really nice. I don't, that's probably not what I should be talking about at the live stream of the premiere, but everyone seems like a quality individual. Even the people who are like handling me and getting me set up and like the flights and everything, super helpful, really nice. So you guys can know that from my perspective, the people involved with the show are very kind. And that's important. Right, Justin? What was the question? Just say yes, man. <laughs> no, whatever, no. Okay, no. okay, well, I just said everyone involved in the show seems really nice, so. Well, it, you made me an ass, okay? <laughs> you made me look like an ass. And news cameraman, uh, having a, hello? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to put you live in front of people, I apologize. Um, and, uh, yeah, having a good time. Uh, someone else getting their shots taken. Having a... Everyone's so fashionable. I just wore a sports coat and sweater, and I was like, "That's good." These people have like, look, look at look at these look at these suits right here. That's I mean, fine suit. You know, I'm gonna refund it off though. YouTubers, we don't have that. We don't make that kind of money, man. You know? Middle class YouTubers, yeah. hell yeah. You know, people can't. I mean, we can't wear this again. We're just gonna be spotted and be like, "Hey, you wore that at the last event." What's the point? But I, I hope the, the store that I'm refunding at isn't watching. Because <laughs> that'd be so awkward. Imagine I tried to refund this and they were like, yeah, we saw you on the live stream. We know your plan. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> now they don't know that we're all secretly billionaires, like yeah. the media claims. Yeah. As soon as you start a YouTube channel, they just hand you a check for a billion dollars. Yeah, I mean, that's the perception, isn't it? Why is that a perception? Because Jake is... Paul. Yeah, you know what? Jake Paul. <laughs> I, <joke. laughs> I don't want to box him. <laughs> um, more people coming on in, having a good old time. Justin scrolling his phone, important updates coming in live. What are the updates, Justin? I, I was trying to come up with something funny. I got nothing, because I'm like trying to figure out what I should ask Daniel Henning just, when he comes. Just say chicken butt. Chicken butt. There we go, jokes, comedy. Jokes. Yeah. That's what Amazon brought me here for. I like your accent, where are your accent from? I'm from uh, DC area. DC, uh, yeah. yeah. Not like DC United. DC is in like bad. Not like DC Comics. Like DC did. Yes. Yeah, cool. I am Robin. What <laughs> <laughs> superheroes you can choose from? He said Robin. I can't. I, I, I know. I'm. Look at me. I'm not I mean, Batman. Who is your favorite DC superhero? Marvel guy. You're a Marvel guy. Who's your favorite Marvel character? Oh yeah, I know him. Yeah. He's a Ryben. That's loyal. So. Ahmed, Ahmed actually worked with him before. So oh, really? Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, was yeah. it the Midsummer Night Dream? Point? No, no, no. We did a shoot together uh, a good couple of years ago. And we were, yeah, it was nice. It's nice to see him coming up, man. So it's going to be an interesting um, reunion. Let's see um, if he remembers me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now I'm just going to see. Okay, so the actor who plays Loyal, Ahmed, is about to be here. He plays the best character in Wheel of Time. Uh, that's not like a. That's not a subject. No, so who's your favorite Marvel uh, superhero? Oh, uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, did you watch the What If series? I did, and I did not love that episode. Oh, I, I, I can say that here. Yeah, Marvel. <laughs> not a fan. Um, oh, I don't think we're supposed to talk about Marvel right now. Oh, yeah, sorry. My bad. You're my good. Bad. So what is uh, your favorite Amazon show? Um, it's the one called The Wheel of Time. There we go. He did the right answer. Um, here's Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's Ahmed. Wow, he went bold, and he looks good. Love that.
And to the Amazon representative watching, I hope this is exactly what you wanted because this is what you signed up for. <laughs> um, oh no, was there ever a technical problem? Are you good? Yeah, um, somebody was trying to get me to share the Wi-Fi password with them, and then my, my iPad panicked. Don't ask for that, please. Um, oh, there is a there is a lost connection. I think. I'm, are we still live here? No sound. No, no sound. Are we here? Are we live? Are we here? No sound. No sound. You're good. Okay, that person's a liar. And I hope you die. Okay. I just told some of my audience to die. Um, I think the Wi-Fi. Yeah, the Wi-Fi might be... I've got sound? Cool. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> We've got some recognition going on. And... Uh, I mean, we all agree Loyal is the best character in the Wheel of Time, right? Like, there's no debate. The O-Gear is top tier. At least the most universally loved. Oh, he's going inside, so he's coming to us. Someone told us he was coming here, and that person was not truthing. <laughs> we have gotten one interview, so that's a, that's a good time. Um, we also have, uh, let's see. Not. There's the poster again. I'm just gonna get my head down here now. I feel, I feel like, like it's like better. I feel like I'm in your live stream the whole time. Every time I'm here, I'm in your live stream. I have been just focusing on you the entire time. I mean, I am the hottest person here. Let's be real. Yeah. yeah. Someone's stealing my tripod. <laughs> what? And they're allowed to. Welcome to London. Yeah. Is there a high crime rate in London? I mean, if I say yes, <laughs> does it sound like I'm not proud to be a Londoner? Oh, this has been like the most beautiful city. I love, I've been, since I've been here, it's gorgeous. Let's go with that. Yeah, let's go. With it's that. a really pretty city. Um, I'm from DC, so my standards are low. <laughs> since so wherever I go, I can just become a pirate and then mimic. And I can sound I like you said a this. pirate? And I was a like, pirate. can you do a pirate accent? Yar. <laughs> <laughs> Yar. That's how it's like. Yar. I love that. Yar. Be sure to uh, like, subscribe. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. See, I told you, I can parrot. That's very good. That's very good. I also lived in the South. Can you do a good Southern draw? I what? <laughs> what? I also lived in where? The South. South. Yeah, I've lived in Tennessee, Alabama. Tennessee, Virginia. Alabama, Virginia. Give me your best Louisiana draw. Okay, you do it first and I'll mimic it. We like maple syrup down here. <laughs> we like maple syrup down here. I ain't had made love with my wife in three months. We're, get, we're learning things about this man that I did not know we would <laughs> learn on the carpet. Um, oh, it seems more people are arriving. I'll point you at them. All right. I've made a friend in him, and he's great, so. Did you guys just become best friends? We just became best friends. You did. We actually did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Do you want to oh, open did. a bar in Bora Bora? Why not? Let's do it. I'm turning off the live stream. Um... <laughs> It looks like we have some more cast members coming on down. The real question I'm asking is where's Amanda the Jedi? If we could put hashtag Amanda the Jedi, get that trending on Twitter. I, Off doing influencer things, I yeah, think. She's doing influencer things. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm out of things to say. See, people are just repeating no sound, and I hear people saying there is sound. I know the people who say no sound are lying. <laughs> um, let's see, what are we waiting for? We're, we're waiting for uh, cast members to show up. Um, yeah. And this is the best possible use. <laughs> Hi from Pakistan. Hello back, Pakistan. Um, let's see, bro, really knew who you were? I know. My blood went cold when he said that, and I got scared. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, wait. God, I have. Okay. There is indeed a, there is a red carpet. It wasn't a lie. It's right in yeah, I don't. I think that's a native red carpet. I found the red carpet. And it's right there. Oh, I think. I think I lost monetization because of the music in the background. You're not supposed to. Remember what, remember what we were told?
That's my demonetized there face. There was only someone from Amazon here who you could talk to about that. I didn't say that. Um, you didn't get it. Yes. Hi. No. Uh, apparently, we've missed Roseman Pike. I'm not sure. Um, not yet. She's not here yet. No, not yet. No, no, not yet. Daniel Henney is still down there. Uh -huh, that's Wonderful. Loyal is coming out now. Uh, he's getting someone a lovely hug. I imagine that guy's got a lot of hugs in his future. He's saying hello to Jason. I'll let them get their interview out of the way and then I'll jump in. I don't want to push. I don't want to be a pushy guy. Uh, can we interview him together? Is that fine with you? I, yeah, why not? I mean, I should do another you, one for you, this. you know him. I'll let you. I'll no, join Critter. You, yeah, you take your time. Take I'll your time. do a Critter here. Yeah. Mind yeah, if we do an interview with Ahmed? Yeah, like a joint interview? Yeah, like, we're, like they're doing the two there. We'll do the two here, and he's got one there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gonna tag team. He's going to be right here, hopefully. Yeah. And then you'll be able to see him, and we'll just ask him questions. I'm going to ask about his costume. Would yes. You, you too? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Um, this is way better than I'm, Is this weird? Oh, I didn't lose monetization. That's good. Wait, what did that say? Congrats, Daniel. Can't wait to see the show. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. I appreciate you. I'm getting YouTube is like malfunctioning a little bit on me, so I'm hoping that this is still live and fine. Um, Something's going on with the Wi-Fi. Oh, had, the, it's switch, the Wi-Fi. Well, I had to switch to uh, data. I'm on data right now. She is on international data. Critter is making sacrifices that <laughs> I respect immensely. Okay. Thanks, Doug Marshall. I appreciate it. Thanks for okay, Sorry, my YouTube interface is completely jacked, but all I see is still the chat, so I still see the chat. We'll need what? I'm Nabeless. We're going to be quick. Yeah, gotcha. We're going to be quick, apparently. Um. <laughs> all right. I believe the show needs to start before too long. Your stream is perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Brett, as well. There's a lot of fancy people walking around. I love the outfits and the carpet as well, as we mentioned. They have chosen blue Aja, and I'm here for it. Um, and the gateway. Look at the gateway. Okay. Daniel, your stream is still good on YouTube. Oh, thank you, random critter person. The Iguinis? Iguinis, yeah. Thank you, Iguini. That's the worst. Oh, we had Jason Fall. Are you okay, Jason? All right, Jason's fine. Um, I called him Justin earlier, and I feel very bad. Well, there is there is someone named Justin that we've interacted with somewhat. So yeah, I agree. Sorry, I really you're talking to your stream. I have <laughs> nothing left to say. I appreciate you saying anything you can. Um, Phone bill is going to be ridiculous. I think it's unlimited. I think. I think. Unlimited. I hope so, because if not, I will help you fund whatever that bill is. Just came here from Dan's YouTube because Critter is my favorite. Critter wow. is the best. Thank you. Also, I imagine this is kind of getting a bit annoying. Well, you could watch both at the same time. One on your device, one on your computer. Yeah, I agree. Um, We're going to ask Hamid about his costume because everyone's dying to see it. Yeah. Um, how much and I, we, we've established here on this live stream that Loyal is the best character. Yeah. So we are going to ask him about what it's like to play the best character. If there's any pressure in playing the best character yeah. in, in the show. I mean, it's Loyal. Thank it's in the name. For watching both. I appreciate it. Both yeah, thank you for everyone who's watching me and Critter. Oh. One of us muted, otherwise I can see how that would be a little weird. <laughs> Wait, what's your what's your TikTok exactly for people to find? Critter XD. Critter no spaces. Right here, so Hello! Hi. Hey, hey, hey. Hi, go right ahead. Hey. Hi, so um, Loyal is one of the favorite characters. Yeah. You must know this. Yeah. What's it like to play <laughs> somebody that everybody loves? Yeah, I'm not nervous at all. Nice, okay, <laughs> no pressure. Yeah. Bit nervous. Um, <laughs> Uh, I try not to think about it too much because if I do, then I'm just sweating all the time. Yeah. Um, I just do whatever I do what I always do. Um, I was talking to Nablus here. I was just saying like, you know, I, I come with every, I come to every role with a, a level of zen. I try not to take it too seriously, but when I'm doing the work, I take it extremely seriously because I want to deliver the best that I can possibly do. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I just complete zen, and I just leave. I keep all the other stuff out the window because I can't. Let that enter, do you know what I'm saying? Don't want to be too hasty. No, no, no. Gotcha. no, no. <laughs> you are absolutely brilliant in Midsummer's Night Dream, I should say. There's a very overt comedy to that play, yeah. and Loyal has more of a subtle comedy to his character that kind of comes through inadvertently. What was it like trying to tackle that kind of humor throughout the show? Um, again, I think it was, it's the writing. The writing on this show is incredible. So I didn't have to work too hard. 
you know what I'm saying? Um, it was quite, it was quite easy. <laughs> it was quite easy to, to I it's guess, okay, flex, man. Yeah, no, no. I mean, it was quite easy to, to, to kind of delve into that sort of subtle comedy and 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 the, and the, the slight because he takes everything so literal, and I think that's what I love about him. He's so in, it's, there's a there's an innocence to him, you know. He, I don't think it's I don't think it's gullible. I think it's just pure innocence, and he's just he just wants to he just wants everyone to be happy. Do you know what I mean? And his his loyalty to the people that he travels with in, on this adventure is what keeps him, you know. So is that, he's like a huge child. I, I, I kind of see him that as a huge child. He just wants to. He just wants everyone to be happy. Do you know what I'm saying? So I think that's where that sort of comedy comes in. So that's that's what I feel anyway. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Appreciate it, man. Stay safe. We, <laughs> and now we have him recognizing a friend behind us. That was adorable. That was the most wholesome thing ever. I love that. He, he looks at Loyal as a child. So, <laughs> so cute. I'm very excited about that. Uh, he really gets the character. You can tell he gets the character. And we didn't ask him about his costume because we didn't have time. They told us we needed to be quick. We had more substantial questions, okay? You stole. You said you were going to do costume. And, and I, I was going to do. I'm so sorry. She I stole panicked. my question. It's the one I, you were like, go. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to override you. You were up I'm, first. You're right, you're right, you're right. She, you did an amazing job, good job. You did too, well done. How has it been interviewing people so far? It's a dream. What about you? It's going to be pretty I, awesome. So I have an update for something here that we have Kate Fleetwood, who plays Leandra and Sadai, is in the house. Right behind oh, right, us. Right behind us. Like right, right behind Oh, amazing. We have Leandra in oh here. God, she's really short. Sorry, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. She is. She's like, I, I looked over her. Okay. She's gorgeous. Um, <laughs> so we are going to get to interview our first I Sedai of the day. Um, and oh, she, hello. Um, she's having on over, and they are. Oh, it looks like she's being ushered in. They are very cramped for time, which I understand. Um, they are seeming to be running a bit late, which is understandable. These things are extraordinarily complex. So I'm also a red. Um, I'm trying to see, there's so many people going and doing things. I have anxiety, but right now I'm actually pretty calm. I'm feeling good, you know? <laughs> I'm going to keep you guys out here because there's more interesting stuff going on out there. They are so wholesome and it's adorable. Um, let's see. Now, oh, we ha okay, we have Loyal on the dusty wheel. Loyal is on the dusty wheel. <laughs> I am crushing the right urge now. to just ask Sarah awkward Nakamura questions. Sighting. Wait, Sarah's here? Sarah's Sarah! right here. I think we're Sarah Nakamura's here, which I'm very excited about. Um, what do you want to say to the goblins? That's my audience. <laughs> that works. That's how we talk. There's Sarah. We love Sarah. She is responsible for a lot of amazing things in this show. I just want to say shout out to her. Um, and we have the real press talking, doing some shots. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello. I want to interview you, Oh, she's coming. Yay! Yay! How's it hello, going? Hello, hey, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. So, you look amazing. Thank you, thank how, you. Sarah, how how real thing for you to be here? Um, it's really a bit overwhelming and wild, um, to be perfectly honest. I've been feeling all of the emotions today. So uh, I'm so excited to be here and um, seeing my, my this is AK. <laughs> and seeing her for the first time in a few years, it's been so wild and so I'm, I'm just thrilled to be here and I'm, I'm glad that I literally snuck past security so that I could come see you guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad you came by. You know what? Yeah, no, it was, it was one of those really hilarious things that I was like, and I see my friends and they won't let me, uh, they won't let me say hi, so. Well, I, I'm glad you did. Yeah, I booked yeah. it. And so now I'm going to go make sure that I'm not getting kicked out and I'll leave you guys to see all these amazing people that are coming in and all I have left to say is enjoy the show tonight. It's going to be great. Yep. Thank all you right. for the contribution. Thank you so much. That was Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. She is the best. You look amazing, by the way. The boots are great. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, that was the boots. Just the boots. 
the boots. Just the boots, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm in her shot. That, that was Sarah Nakamura. Now, sorry for the bad shots. We are literally squeezed in like sardines. Okay. You can see everybody here. We are all like... As if Loyal needed to be taller, he's now standing on a platform. <laughs> this something if we had like 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 some of us got boxes you know right give us a <laughs> at least amazon we need boxes and you're known for your boxes the wheel of time is known for its boxes wow. give me your box <laughs> wait don't i shouldn't look into a camera and say give me your box <laughs> i'm very confused by amanda the jedi's whereabouts because she seems to just be roaming good on her for having the ninja abilities <laughs> Well done, Amanda. I don't know who can do that. Are you guys getting, are you getting kicked off the live streams? Yeah. Uh, I was, yeah. Okay. And then I went on LTV. Okay. That's what I'm doing now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt you, you guys. This is our uh, our behind the scenes team, our EPK team. Hello. And um, so I'm going to be interviewing you really quickly. Uh, That's fine. Half, okay. So you guys, this is Daniel Green uh, of YouTube. <laughs> uh, this is Justin. Uh, I don't know your last name, but uh, Nabliss. This is Jason Fendel of Dragon Mount. It's a 22-year-old uh, Wheel of Time fan site. And over there is the Dusty Wheel, who um, does live streaming every Wednesday for Watt Wednesday, and they're super fantastic. So what we want to know is how has this experience been for you guys? I'm trying to be professional, okay. and I'm not the best at that. Well, you, you look great. Oh, thank you so much. It's been great. amazing. Yep. London's incredible. Yep. And this premiere, they've chosen their preference of Aja. It's pretty obvious there's yep. some blues here. Yeah, <laughs> hardcore blues. Justin, how about you? What's this been like for you? This has been incredible. It's the first time I've ever been to London, and the city's incredible. Um, but this experience was shut This is, uh, I, I was talking about this on one of my streams. I've been a fan of this series longer than I've not been a fan of this series, and so to finally see this real, like I got to talk to Rand a minute ago, yeah. that's surreal. So this is just incredible. It's a great experience. And then yes. this is Jason Denzel of Dragon. Someone in a sensational dress about to come down. So. Yeah, I know. I just got a real TV interview, apparently. Who let me on TV? They let me on TV. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty this crazy. is insanity. All right. Oh, wait. Like, like actual TV? I guess. I don't know. Dude, you're doing great. Congrats. Can't wait to see the show. Also, is there an after party tonight? I don't know so many of the things you just said, but thank you very much. I'm having a hard time thinking. All right. Yes. Hello. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. How are you doing tonight? I'm all right. Yeah, it's very, very exciting. Very scary, but yes. it's just overwhelming, really. Yeah. Uh, yes, that is yeah. the best How way to put it. Are you, are you like, jet lagged or okay? I've managed to get enough sleep that I am functional, That's and I have poured enough coffee in my veins, and I'm pretty sure it's my blood. Very good. <laughs> Pumping through, keeping I'm, you going. How about yourself? How are you enjoying the premiere? Amazing. I mean, yeah. the way it goes. I, I, we haven't been to um, Piccadilly, so if I saw it on Instagram, the... I think I, I, whoever designed and made that billboard needs yes. all of the awards. Absolutely. I just thought, is that real? And everyone said, yeah, it is real. It's like, oh my God, we've got to go there afterwards. You haven't managed to swing by yet, though? No, not at all. I know we came from, came from up from the country, you see, so I haven't been into city. You're, I'm yeah. sorry if it's a New York early live in front oh, of people. Is that okay? That's fine. Hello, everyone. This is the goblin. Uh, yeah. Do you would like to say hello to the goblins? Hello, goblins. Hello. <laughs> it's amazing. God. It sounds way more classy in that accent. I'm just going to be honest. The goblins. <laughs> oh, it's lo so lovely to meet. Cause I've watched a lot of your, lot of your um, oh, videos you so and stuff, and your enthusiasm is wonderful. Oh, I appreciate. And your it. editing is brilliant. Oh, I always look. How did you do that editing? It's so Thank brilliant. <laughs> Lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. <laughs> coffee rolls. Absolutely. Gosh, look at Zoe. This is uh, Zoe Robbins. Is oh, looking absolutely Zoe. incredible over That's there. Zoe. Yeah. Wow. And I love that they made like a gateway to come in. Very oh, yeah, cool. So I mean, just the whole thing took you over. Well, yeah. I think that. Hello, how are you? How are you enjoying the premiere? Andy, my I'm Hello, enjoying. Andy. I'm enjoying a lot so far. Andy. I'm just. Uh, yeah, I've heard about you, Daniel. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank yeah, you so you much. You told me all about you. Um, um, first of all, your suit is fantastic. Oh, thank you very much. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm current, just here to carry coats, really. <laughs> you're doing a great job. <laughs> the, coats are, okay. the coats are carried. We would like to establish. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what? How are you, are you guys going to be able to watch the premiere tonight as well? Yes. Yeah, we just made four thousand people very jealous. Oh. <laughs> well, are you we watching can all it watch again on the nineteenth. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we will be watching it on the nineteenth as well in I mean, tandem. 
Oh, yes, yeah. from the 19th, the 20th, the 21st. Onwards for hopefully years to come. Hopefully. Let's, let's hope, yeah. Well, we have had an official renewal of season two, I believe, come through, which is so yeah. much fun. Season two, definitely. Um, and if you guys have any sway, if we can get to season 10 renewed. Well, I'll do whatever we'll do, I can. We'll do your best to you, won't you? Like, yeah. push, 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 definitely. So, definitely. How long are you here for? Uh, I fly out. No one go to my house. Um, oh, I yeah, no. He's <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back very, um, as soon as the There's camera... There's a dangerous dog in there, so, you know. <laughs> there is a dangerous cat. Oh, is there? Well, um, they're just as bad. <laughs> okay. um, I fly out on the 19th, 16th, 15th. 15th. <laughs> Today. Out on the seventeenth. I am it's sorry. Parallel universe. Yeah, you're right. you're witnessing coffee and jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much oh, for saying all those nice so things. Lovely to meet you. Appreciate really it. Lovely Thanks. To thank you. Bye. People know me. People know who I am. I don't. I don't know. We have, a, we have Daniel Henney coming. Landman Dragger is on his way. I don't know what to ask him. I have so many things I want to ask him. I'm not sure which to ask him. This is this is scary. <laughs> oh, we have Daniel Henney officially on the dusty wheel. Oh, I'm stepping on my mic. Uh, all right. And so we are. My voice is disconnected. I see them all agree with that statement. But I will hold the mic for like this, so that that is no longer a problem. There we go. Now we're off the ground. Now the mic should never cut out. There is Daniel Henney. I don't, it's looking amazing. Yeah. And, um, all right. I'm sorry about the mic pops, everybody. It's just occasionally I accidentally step on it. Um, I was, I was going to have a tripod that like extends over, but now it's uh, a little tight, but we're having a great time. I've met some of the people that I've been, oh, well, Rafe Judkins right there. That is the Wheel of Time showrunner. Uh, that's incredible. Uh, so he seems to be arriving as well. Um, and this is just amazing people after amazing people coming on through. Oh, there's Sarah Nakamura again. Yes. What's funny is when people are like, I love your content to me. I know that I record half those videos in my closet in front of a green screen. So it's like, you washed me in my closet. <laughs> it's a very nice green screen. I professionally edit them, you know, very cool. Um, we have Zoe Robbins over there as well. Um, hello. Yes, I am doing great. How are you doing? It's good to see you too. Zoe Robbins just pointed at me and said, my name. Justin, woo, same. This is what adrenaline, caffeine, and jet lag in a goblin looks like. Oh, Daniel Henney walking by. Hello. Um, wow. All right. So that was Zoe Robbins who just pointed at me. Um, oh, and there is Rosamund Pike. It's almost like she didn't break her. Yeah, really. You know what I mean? Holy crap. That's crazy. Like she she's alive. Yeah. That is yeah. Oscar nominated Rosamund Pike. I can't handle that level of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you got this man, you got this. And Rafe Judkins is now walking up. That's pretty amazing. Alright. I don't know if we're allowed to touch anyway. <laughs> I can't get I can't hear them I'm too far away um, but they're just gonna yep okay let's do let's go side by side we're going side by side this is the way to go back to back with himself all right I'm gonna angle this so we get Daniel hey I have a very sore arm how are your arms doing my arms are great because my tiny mic is just let's look at the mic look how tiny <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm really enjoying the night. Yeah, we're having a good time. So what question are you going to ask Rafe Judkins? Um, I've been asked to tell him that we all really appreciate that a fan of the books is doing the show. Mm -hmm. And then um, I guess ask him how he feels about changes. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> As a fan, the changes that were made, are you okay with that? <laughs> um, what, are, what are you going to ask him? 
Uh, I'm blanking. I'm nervous that you asked me that. Sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. I think I may just say, does it hurt you at all? No, it won't. I don't, I don't want to talk about changes. I don't want to talk about changes. We all love the books. We're all going to maybe love the show. I'm sure oh, and now we have Madeline Madden over there. Looking incredible. We have Madeline Madden, Rave Judkins, and a bunch of other people who are way more famous than me. You know what, maybe we can ask him if he has any nerdy friends that bother him about Wheel of Time all the time. That's a very good question. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, that'll be my question. Good. I'm going to come up with my question in the spur of the moment. <laughs> That's how you introduce Chekhov's gun. Yes. Hello! <laughs> how are you doing? Very good. Very excited to finally get to show this massive piece of work to the world. Yeah. It's been a marathon, it seems like, to get through after all these years. Moraine as a character is someone who, you know, you're going in the long tradition of, you know, mentors from Gandalf and Obi-Wan. What's it like to take on a character that's that complex and iconic? Well, she certainly keeps me interested. <laughs> and I think she keeps... She keeps the rest of the cast guessing, as well as, I hope, the audience, which is one of the biggest pleasures, is that I get to slightly change the temperature and keep people on their toes. And I think her, her thing that she says, whereas the, in terms of the, I'll always tell the truth, but it might not be the truth you think you hear, is kind of like my mantra for, for playing Maureen. I know that I can... I can have multiple layers of meaning in almost everything I say, and that's what keeps me excited. Okay. Other than Moraine, because we all know that she's incredible, um, do you have a second favorite character in the Wheel of Time? Lan. Lan is Lan. the most... And I've just finished reading the audiobook of The Eye of the World. The one you narrated? Sorry, I've just finished... Yeah, I've just finished reading it, narrating it. Out loud, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I think I've been so moved by the character of Lan actually through it, and that was a kind of new discovery of what a quite, what a, I mean I know he's wonderful in the way I work with him, but also just re-engaging with Lan in his own right, you know, not in relation to me. I found that. We just got interview blocked by the showrunner We're going on a map. Sit ways down the line. <laughs> Oh, she said she I'm not going to hold a mic to them. I feel like that's invasive. I'm not going to, I don't know. Maybe I should, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to Rosamund has to leave now, which is fine. We get to talk to her. Yeah. Oh, Lan the Warder is coming over and saying hello to Rosamund. So that's adorable. Daniel, other Daniel. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Rafe. I'm, I'm Critter X. Rafe, it's so nice to meet, meet you. you. How are you doing tonight? I am doing pretty well. How are you guys doing tonight? I, a mixture of adrenaline and coffee. <laughs> yeah, that's me, except just like, and then just emptiness inside. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to process oh, what's happening. <laughs> so you've been on a marathon for the last few years. Yeah. Does it feel real that it's actually done? Like you're getting to, not done. You have season two. Well, no, because I'm actively flying to a scout tomorrow morning. So, uh, so it never feels done. The wheel of time is never finished. But I think you know this has been something. I don't know. It's interesting. Like other things I've worked on before. When you get to this point in the process, you're often like, you know. I am not ready for people to see it. Like, it feels like too soon. It doesn't feel too soon for us. Like, I think we're all ready for it to be out there. And like, we've been working on it such a long time. It's just, I'm excited for people to see it. So we want to express excitement on behalf of the fandom that a fan is putting the Wheel of Time out. It's incredible. And I was wondering if you have like nerd friends that also read it that are bothering you about it, you know? Well, the funny thing is I have a lot of nerd friends that I didn't know were also Wheel of Time readers. Like I had two cousins who read it, who I didn't know they read it. And then a third cousin contacted me who had read it all 14 books and like we just never knew and never connected with each other and I think that's kind of the fun thing I think a lot of people read Wheel of Time in a silo and now it's like they get a chance to talk to people about it I just read it with my mom and we only talked to each other about it obsessively for years and years and years so it's fun to get to talk to other people about it. That's actually why I started my channel. I read The Wheel of Time, no one I knew read it, and then I found out a bunch of people did. <laughs> yeah, it, turns, it turns out everyone's read it. So many closeted Wheel of Time fans, they're all going to come out of the gutters. Yeah, they're everywhere. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I occasionally get pinched by someone. There's a guy who just leans in and pinches me, and that's how I know I need to end the interview. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that, but I am. <laughs> someone just reaches in and they tug me, and that means end it. They didn't tell me that's what that means. 
So I don't actually know if that's what that means. Maybe he's flirting with me. Because it's the same guy. And the thing about that is... I'm, I just interviewed Roseman Pike and Rafe Judkins, and I don't know what to do with my hands. And I'm holding a mic, and I don't know what to do with my hands. Um, this has been like a dream, uh, and I'm kind of flabbergasted. Biggest word of the day, flabbergasted. <laughs> there is uh, Marcus Rutherford walking by right there. And a bunch of other fantastic, awesome people. It's funny. You can spot a lot of the Two Rivers cast because they're just taller than everyone. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, is there a two? Yeah, they're six foot five. That's the old good. blood of Manetherin. <laughs> like, so, yeah, they're all, they're all big. It's getting a tidbit cold out here. Uh, no one warned me that London is cold. Joking. Um, we have Marcus Rutherford. I will do that. What? I can't hear you over anything. That's Uta Brezowitz, just in case. Just oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Um, he acted like I didn't know. Do you know you've got fangirls on oh, my hi. stream? So. I love all of you. <laughs> I have so many questions for the director. <laughs> She had gold. This is. We just saw, we just saw Lan and Moraine together. That was amazing. Um, I know Amanda the Jedi is going to fangirl like crazy when she sees Rosamund Pike, and I'm very excited for that. All right. You have. We're getting more and more like people over by us. It's kind of becoming like a crush. Like I'm kind of getting. Someone's talking on the mic. I don't know who that is. Sorry, I moved your. You were. You were oh no! Move me away. Okay, push it was like, me. It was just it's right fine. in Rosamund's face, and no. it was very sad. Who? Uh, uh, let's see. I would have already lost my mind. I'm there. I'm losing it. And if anyone is mad about anything I've said, this is Green Daniel, not Daniel Green. This is Green. I look so much better on your stream than mine, which is kind of upsetting. Like, I have a good shot there, and I'm just here like... This um, TikTok, <laughs> it really helps. It yeah. Helps. So we, this is um, also, they said mine's ahead of YouTube. Like, TikTok is faster, I guess, than YouTube is. There's YouTube? Delay. Why is TikTok faster? You heard it all here first. <laughs> You're YouTube. Come on. <gasps> Marcus Rutherford has a mic. I don't know if you can hear what he's saying. Hello. Hi. There we go. Kehoe would like to meet you. Oh, hello. Hi. I would shake show. your hand, but I'm. <laughs> but I wouldn't worry about shaking my hand. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? You guys, are, I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. Thank, thank you. you. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. No, I was just <laughs> going to say that I've, all of us have been watching you and and um, Dusty Wheel. <laughs> I'm get your opinions. You know, I don't know how to process do. that. I hope that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're being really um, critical about Ferris, no, but it's quite right to. You got well, Thank you, you know, so you're much. A super fan. So you know, and it's, thank you for supporting us all. I thank you for making this a reality. Like this is now real. To, and to the five thousand people watching, trust me, they're all crazy excited. So. Well, so are we. We're here. Yeah. Blue carpet, no. It's gotta feel insane after all this work to finally be letting it go. Three years of my life, and I'm really excited that my family's inside, going to watch it now. Oh, you got all. You got the plus ones and everything. I got the my my sons are here and my husband. So you know. <laughs> that's how you know. That's how you know you made it when you get the full family in. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, it's really exciting. You guys are all here. I'm excited to be here, uh, and I'm, I won't remember this tomorrow. It's just pure adrenaline. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you as well. Thank Absolutely. you so much. I, I mean that. I will not remember. I will not remember any of this. <laughs> So my chat thinks that I should ask Marcus Rutherford um, if he feels any pressure being the ideal husband, <laughs> like, being a sex symbol. So I don't know if I'm going to ask him that. 
Oh. Yeah. I, I don't want to make it feel low, but maybe I will. I can feel the caffeine Shit. leaving my body. Zoe's right there. Do you have a question for her? Yes. What are you asking? It's a long one. A long? Okay, cool. Yeah. Then you go first. Okay, sounds good. And I'll think of something. <laughs> I, uh, my throat is as dry as the Sahara. Yep. <laughs> no pressure. This is me working up some spit. After the pub we went to last night, I was losing my voice. So I was like, I'm not going to talk to anybody all day, just in case. But then I woke up and I was fine. Oh, so oh Daniel, I'm back on screen. How does it feel to have talked to the head of Amazon Studios? Uh, I'm just, I'm, my whole body's vibrating. <laughs> and that's pretty much all that I feel. Um, Actually, I think I know one. Um, Marcus Rutherford is here now, so that's awesome and exciting. Um, man, I would love my tripod back, but it's now being actively used by someone else. Too what? bad. I'd love my tripod back, but it's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you? Oh, hey, I don't know if it would help. But oh, you're that welcome would be. To that. that would. Okay. It uh, needs. Can I? You can rotate it and do whatever you want. This looks pretty good to me. Perfect. Okay. Is this all right, everybody? My arm is numb, so we're going to do this. Uh, yes. All right, Zoe Robbins is coming in next. Zoe's thrilling. Up. I feel a lot more professional now. <laughs> my phone. I'm just seeing comments like, thank God. <laughs> Finally a tripod. <laughs> is there anyone who raise that height a smidge or no? I, I would. It's no, no worries if not. That's better. Okay. Let's go a little bit. I want Critter in the shot. There we go. We have a talk to Marcus. No, I think it's a team. Apparently, we are going to talk to Marcus Rutherford. That is now confirmed. Hi, Hello. Hi. 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 Do you have a minute? Is that all right? Absolutely. I came back for you guys. Am I up here? Yeah. standing here? Or is that not possible? Your dress is gorgeous, by the it's way. It's absolutely so sensational. If, oh, we have. We're getting we adjusted. We there we go. Um, so I hope you know we're live. Is that all right? Yep. That's, awesome. That's You're fine. the first person I've asked. I don't know why. <laughs> did you feel the need to... Uh... Just adrenaline and caffeine. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That's right. I, if you don't mind, I have a question about Nynaeve, if that's all right. She's a character who I find to have an extreme amount of depth in the nuance of she's like steeped in tradition, yet she's so... You know, she discovers so much. She's someone who's loves so much, but has also used that to fight. As someone who's tackling that character, is it, you know, the writing behind it, what's it like to get in the performance and the mindset of someone who has such development, but such complexity from the start? Oh, what a great, Dan, bring with the questions out from the, wow. Sorry. <laughs> you know, luckily, I think because there's, there's, Obviously, we have amazing source material. Thank you, Robert Jordan and and Rafe too. Like he he sat down with all of us at the beginning and 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 we talked about the characters in depth. I feel like because there's an essence and of the characters in all of us, it wasn't that hard for me to understand her from the beginning. There's a lot of stuff that goes on underneath Nynaeve and I, and I I definitely can relate. She's taught me a lot about control and and breathing and yeah, her her journey has been really. Um, it's been interesting. I've been going along similar emotional and mental journeys with her as well, which is I've learned a lot about myself through playing Nynaeve. So, um, and yeah. if you don't mind, a more simple question: What was your reaction when you found out the Wheel of Time was in like the top ten selling series of all time? Was there a little more pressure when that was revealed to you? <laughs> uh, yes, there was, Daniel. <laughs> I yeah. didn't just reveal that now, did I? No, wait, okay. what do you mean? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, there was a lot of swear words, uh, cussing uh, through my through my through my head. Uh, but I don't know. It it felt right from the beginning. I don't know how I kind of felt confident that I maybe could tackle something like this two years ago. But um, it's always it's always felt felt good. Felt felt that it's the it's it's. I don't know. I don't have words right now. This is amazing. This so is amazing. Speaking of the pressure, you may know that Nynaeve is a widely held favorite character. Yes. Um, do you do you feel that? Have you observed the social media and everyone like being I, super excited yes, about you playing Nynaeve? Yes, I know. This this Braid Gang, Braid Braid Nation. Um, <laughs> Do you know what? When I first when I first got the role, I I used you guys as resources. Like I was watching your videos. I was on Reddit. I was I was you know searching up everything, and I found that, as you guys will know, I guess people didn't necessarily relate to her in their first read when they started when when they were younger. But as time went on, as as readers aged and as they you know did more read throughs, they understood her. 
that's something I love. I, you know, she's not she's not immediately likable to some people, but I think um, once you get her why and the motivations, it's. I mean, I love her to to pieces. And, um, Sorry, I'm gonna have to grab you. Okay. Sorry. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank much, you. and enjoy the premiere. Thank you. Thank you for making this possible. Of course. So exciting. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was Zoe Robbins, and uh, Marcus, Marcus is coming. I'm in love with what she had to say about Moraine or er, Nynaeve. Wow, my brain is fried. Um, so Marcus Rutherford is. Parent. <laughs> we have better confirmed that Marcus Rutherford is wearing Louis Vuittons. Just doing all the interviews like this, trying to get the red bottoms in. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I've just been saying, I've seen a lot of people ask, is, is Perrin you know, tall enough? Yes! <laughs> we got it, we got it in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is stop. Stop all those questions. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. How is it uh, coming on the carpet tonight? You feeling good? Uh, good, man. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time coming. I mean, I mean, we're talking to people who've loved the books, you know, a very, very long time. But in terms of when we started production, um, you know, we stopped and started COVID pandemic. It's amazing that everyone can be here in person to celebrate everything. Yeah. So were you aware that most people believe that Perrin is the ideal husband? Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. No, that's really? The thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I realize there's the people who love him. I'm getting a lot of like Daddy A. Barra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of that. You have a future as a sex icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> you know I mean, I'm just like, I'm just like, keep it coming. I don't mind. So Perrin has like multiple dimensions. He goes from, you know, lovable to just kind of moody. Mm. What was it like going from, you know, the various stages of Perrin, I guess? Assuming that that happens in the show. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think what's really cool of a character like Perrin is, you know, if there's a really lead character, he's not he doesn't actually say that much in something like the, in the bigger scenes, which is quite cool. So you realise everything he's doing is very considered. There's been a thought process behind it. So you, as an actor, you there's a whole inner monologue going on in the scene before he's even said something. So you realise even just a smile, or if he gets angry, for example, there really has to be like a journey there to why he's getting angry, and it, there's like a shock before he even like gets to that gets to that moment. So um, yeah, for an actor to have someone in the scene who is thinking before he speaks. You have a whole kind of prep before you even say your line, so it's it's, it's wicked. That's awesome. It's a character based in nuance, and I've often said it may be the most internal character yes. I've ever read. Yes. Like he is someone who is just going to process and process. And the, so the performance, you have to just have those long silences. Yes. What did you learn to do to like you know take advantage of? I'm not going to talk. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, th I, mean, I said to Ray at the start. I said I know this is a huge show, amazing visual effects, but. For Perrin, I think a lot of it is going to be in just his looks, you know, his looks, and like as long as we get those moments, it's going to be really, really special. So close-ups, and like, ups just close-ups, just the way he looks at his friends, the way he thinks. There's a lot of me, sort of. There's a lot. There's a lot of that. A lot of that. But it's got an old journey in itself with what he's thinking, and hopefully it comes across on screen. And if you don't mind, one more quick question: yeah, yeah, yeah. What would your Aja be if you were an Aes Sedai? I've got to go red, man. I don't, if, you see, if you see Kate Fleetwood in this show, I it is May, well. May. It is, she's so badass. <laughs> wow. Leandra in this is just like, she's so fierce. Mm. We're in the trailer where she, oh my, yeah, no, I can't. I can talk about it all the time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, red. Mate, so, so lovely. Much. So lovely to meet you. Absolutely. Man. You as Big well. Fan. Thank you for all the work you do as well. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you. you so much. My hand is freezing. I'm no, sorry. No. Same. Well, that was Marcus Rutherford uh, well, playing Baron Navarro. Sorry, I don't need to. Madeline Madden waved to me a second ago. and Oh, your mic got. Oh, did you? Nope, sorry. Our mics are tangled. It's fine. Oh, yeah, our mics are now one. <laughs> Wait, what's my chat saying? All right, I'm probably blue. No, nice. Oh, he thanked you. Yeah. We're both leading. We are professionals. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if this is weird to say. This is like the bonding experience of all bonding experiences right now. I would die for you in this moment. <laughs> I would take a bullet. <laughs> Oh my god. My hand is so cold. <laughs> I know mine too. Like, horrible. Uh, Did I miss more age? You, yes. It was brief, but it was incredible. Yeah. Roseman Pike uh, was here, and I don't Madeline remember Madden. what I said. I right. just froze. Um, oh, I and I'm, 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 I'm not even in my own shot. There we go. Do I know what I'm going to ask? I thought of her as a Gwen. Oh. A Gwen is my favorite character. Really? Now I'm oh yeah, yeah, you said yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. That's who I am on Twitter for a reason. Uh, but no, I love Egwene. Oh yeah, if you want to follow Critter on Twitter, it's uh, Egwene Alvier. <laughs> easy, easy to find. You took it from her. <laughs> I did. Um, I did. Um, That's going to be my question for how do you feel that Critter here took your Twitter? <laughs> I had no 
I didn't have it first. They were cast before I became Egwene Alvere, I think. I am, uh, I'm kind of frozen now. Not like temperature wise, I'm just like, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit surreal. And by a bit, I mean 100% surreal. Yeah. I'm sorry for any super chats I'm not being able to get to. The phone is over there. Uh, thank you so much. For the love. Yeah, and uh, I just, obviously there's a lot going on and I can't so do that, unfortunately. thank you all for the like. Just a reminder, while we're in like a downtime, this is sponsored by Amazon Prime Video. That, so yep, same here as well. periodically say that. We are brought to you by uh, Amazon Prime Video and the Wheel of Time. They flew me out Daniel here. Daniel Hitty's right there. Daniel Hitty is right here. He has water. Um, He's been all over the I don't know why. He has water. Now you know, breaking, Daniel Hitty has water. <laughs> all right. And I, I feel weird. You guys are on my iPhone. All these people have such nice cameras and stuff. I'm operating on an iPhone. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> my TikTok says you guys sporadically co-hosting is everything. <laughs> I think this would be a regular thing. <laughs> like, we're like the New Year's Eve team. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're about to sing Auld Lang Syne or what I don't know what it's called. The actual name of the song. Oh, man. There's been a fade behind me this whole time. Do you guys see the fade right there? Fade, how's it going? He had nothing to say. In character still. The fade is still in character. So I'll be asking Daniel about whether he's an expert swordsman by now. What about you? Uh, I was planning on asking him about tackling what I find to be the most stoic character ever written. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Justin, how are your interviews going? Oh my gosh, I'm nervous, and I'm not normally nervous. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's exciting. I can feel my blood. <laughs> What's that? You will want Daniel. I would love to talk to Daniel. I'd love to talk to Daniel, yes. 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 <laughs> the guy who was pinching me left. I may have scared him off. I apologize, pinching man. They say he's very chatty. But we keep getting, like, touched on the arm whenever yeah. it's time for them to move on. So I we'll want see. to interview guy who punches me. I want to see what his <laughs> deal is. It's very aggressive. Well, it's, I mean, they have to be. I totally understand why they're doing everything they're doing. I mean, they have to get this done in the premiere, get it screened. Yep, yep, yep. I just know I'm so full of adrenaline during the premiere, I'm going to be like... <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I got another chat that... Uh, I would 110% watch the Critter and Gotland show all the time. <laughs> Roseman just walked by. She's right there. If you didn't see her before, that was just her. Yeah, Roseman just walked by. I'm um, telling you, she's a goddess. Yeah. She's all in white, not blue. I think she's telling us something about Roseman versus Moraine. <laughs> With a gold belt. Royalty. I, I feel like the most underdressed person here. <laughs> I know. I thought about wearing black tie, like a full ball gown, and I was like, no, they told me smart casual, and now I'm like mildly regretting it. Yeah. Although I do look good. You look amazing. And as do you. And you're telling us you're Aja. I'm not. <laughs> no, we're not reds red. here. Do not listen to her. We are reds here. We're blues. <laughs> This is actually a great setup. I'm very happy with this result. I know. We walked in here and we're like, there is no room for anything. But the fact that we paired up, I think, made it better. If for those of you we can't see, all of the tripods are overlapped. There's so many cameras. <laughs> there is a tripod wall. I'm really curious to see how my GoPro does, because I'm just like, like recording it. I, I didn't know that was a GoPro. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, thought it was yeah. just a mic. I didn't know GoPros were still being made. Yeah. yeah. Right. If you're a snowboarder, you would know. Oh, absolutely. Please. Thank you. Did you are you having a good evening so far? I am having. How about you? I'm having a good I'm, I don't, I'm not going to remember any of this. <laughs> Yo, it's a good thing you're recording it. Exactly. <laughs> um, that was the person who has uh, brought us here, I believe. Our um, handler, you might say. You can. Oh, gosh. Dan is very close. Mm -hmm. He's just a. He's just Why is this cast so tall? And gorgeous. They're tall and so gorgeous. tall. And absolutely gorgeous. Yes. <laughs> By the way, Marcus Rutherford is gigantic. He's huge. He's a big man. Which is perfect. Gigantic. Because he's parent. And I am not small. I won't, no spoilers, but fits, fits the future. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? It's very nice, nice to meet you. Mr. Green. Yes. Yeah, it's very, very nice, nice to meet you. you. Critter XC, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome I'm, to London. Thank, thank you. you so much. It's an amazing city. I've there fallen go. in love with it. I'm going to yeah. move here. How's yeah. your night going? Oh man, it's going crazy. It's uh, it's very surreal to be here. The show's coming out. Uh, yeah, it's hard to put into words, to be honest with you. It's been two years, two long years of of amazing challenges and a lot of work and not knowing sort of when the show was coming out and what was going to stop us again. And But uh, finally we're here and it's all happening, so we're really pumped. 
if you don't mind me asking, you play a character who I don't like to say they have cracks exposed, but they're one of the most solid characters ever in terms of just stoic. And right. throughout the series, it's more of an exploration of the tiny nuances that allow him to still be human. How is tackling that as an actor? It cannot be easy to try and bring emotion to someone who's just so solid. It's not easy. And, and I think Lan has taught me so much about life, to be honest with you. I feel like he's made me a better man. He taught me, you know, as an actor, you, you feel like you want to perform sometimes. And the scenes required me to be very still and, and sort of stoic in the background a lot. And that was a big challenge. And I've, I've learned a lot through that. Um, Obviously, Robert Jordan's writing is so brilliant, and I go to work every day hoping I can just do that justice. But um, yeah, it's it's a process with that. It's a scene by scene process with Land, depending on what they write for him. But uh, it's been a it's been a wonderful journey. Yeah. Yeah, sure. So the people are wondering. Land is an incredible swordsman. Yeah. Are you now a master swordsman? Have you earned the hair and mark blade? <laughs> I don't know if I've earned it yet. <laughs> okay. I, I would consider myself a good swordsman. I spent um, I spent weeks and months walking around Prague with it like tucked into my back, okay. questionably. My wife. Um, he pointed at Zoe. Uh, but yeah, I'm all right now. We've uh, we've gotten to the point in season two, without giving too much away, that I've uh, I've had some pretty intense fights with uh, one fight where I actually get to pick up two swords. Okay. And that was that's a little teaser but I was like a left left brain right brain thing you're trying to fight with two swords at once it's, it's pretty tough but uh, yeah I'm happy where I'm at so yeah. is this the most physically demanding role you've personally taken on yeah absolutely yeah um, it scared me man to be honest with you the first time I, I sat down with our stunt team and they they laid out the winter night fight when it was 150 beats wow and, uh, it's like at one point they were like you're going to jump up on a Trolloc's back. I said, sitting down. I was like, ha, ah, standing. And I meant like one of the baby Trollocs. Like, no, the eight foot Trolloc. And we're going to have you, you know, stab him in this sort of trapezius muscle and steer him. And you're going to kill him and he's going to fall. And then you're going to, you're going to front flip with the sword in your hand and tuck it. And you're going to come out of that directly into another move. I just thought there's no way in hell I can do this. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to. I can't. And then, but you can. You can. You can push yourself that way. And this, this show is. Uh, it's really showed me that. So I'm really, really proud of that sequence. That I think did not make the final cut, but okay. it might have made one of the trailers. Beautiful. But uh, it is what it is. In addition to that challenge, you also have to have this synergy with Rosemond's Moraine. So is that something you guys had to consciously keep in mind of basically moving with her throughout the combat and action, even just walking scenes? Like, how has that connection come through to you? It's been very organic. Strangely enough, with Rosemond and I, we, um, right from the get-go, we got along so well. It was sort of uncanny. And... We call each other sort of warder Aes Sedai through text, so we kind of speak in character, which is really kind of weird. <laughs> Little things you admit. But we just have a bond, no pun intended. We really do. And we talk late at night about issues that are concerning Wheel of Time, that are concerning life. I'm close with her family. I spend a lot of time with her because her whole family's here, or in Prague, sorry. And I'm sort of by myself. And so I've kind of like the sixth wheel, I guess. I'll go over there, hang out with them. <laughs> We spent a lot of time working on the fights and working with her movement coach and choreographing my sequence around her sequence and making sure that movement worked. And we just hope that it shows and that people can see how much time we put in. So, Lan Eve is a much loved ship. You may know that. What is it? Uh, Lan Eve. That's oh, your ship Lan name. Oh, this one. Did okay. you not know? So, um, okay. how was you, We've heard like how you and Maureen or Rosamond sort of like developed this bond, but have you, how was it like developing the chemistry? Uh, with your asking about interest. our chemistry. Yeah. Do you want to come talk about your chemistry? I don't want to, sorry, I don't want to steal you away. Asking about how we develop our chemistry. Um, what did we do, Daniel? Uh, what did we do? Well, she's, right, right from the get-go, we kind of had a dinner. I think so, which is crazy because we never had a chemistry read. We never auditioned together. Yeah. I think I met you in... Where did I meet you? I feel like we met in Jordan Studios in the very small cast green room. Yeah. We were all just hanging out in between sweaty workout sessions. We were uh, we were the only two casts that hadn't really met, which really? is interesting considering sort of how the characters end up. But 
it's been really organic and it's been really yeah. special. Yeah. And uh, yeah, whenever I have scenes with Zoe, I'm really, really excited because it's just, it's a super, there's an ease to it. There's a, there's a, a natural yeah. sort of feel to it. So yeah. I'm really mean, excited about yeah. it. Does the character of Nynaeve intimidate you? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she intimidates me. All the women intimidate me on this, on this show. They're amazing. But uh, she is uh, yeah, very formidable and really incredibly talented. Well, thank you so much for being willing to talk to us. Thank it you. means the world to us. So, thank and you guys. They, say hello to the goblins. They are all here hey, as goblins. well. Goblins. <laughs> goblin day. Hey, goblins. <laughs> All right, yeah. uh, we were told one more question. Thank you so much. It was so nice. Yeah, so we nice have a coach who comes by and is like, I know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. I know. I know. You guys enjoy the show. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. All right. We'll get to see him in the premiere. Two at once. We, yeah, we, we got to, to it. We got the both of them. That was pretty Daniel amazing. Decided to hog all of the time. Let it be known that. that I'm was sorry. I did. I actually I just totally joke. Oh, okay. I thought we were I asked. Talking to Zoe. Okay. I want this really fine middle and mad. I have questions. <laughs> that one's going in the highlight reel, okay? Oh my. Um, all the all are obvious. All right, so it seems like we're winding down here a little bit. Oh, we haven't talked to Madeline yet. Are we going yes. to be able to? She waved at me, and I would love to. So I would love to talk to. I have the best question for her that I've been wanting to ask for like since the first trailer dropped. Mine is, what's it like to be the best character in the Wheel of Time? I think that's what I've landed on. I asked that to Loyal, so <laughs> true. I can't be two-faced, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, the reason people are quiet is Rose, Rosamund Pike and Rafe Judkins are currently being interviewed, so everyone's... Okay, Madeline is walking in this way. Yes. Hello. <laughs> hello. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Hello, hello. How are you doing? You warm enough? I mean, we're cool, I was going to ask you the same. Are you warm enough? <laughs> yeah, I mean, those three glasses of champagne definitely helped beforehand. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Yeah. I, if you could slip me one of those, massively appreciate it. Find me inside. Got Find you. me inside, yeah. <laughs> if you don't mind, I've had a question I've been wanting to ask since I saw the first trailer drop. Go on. And it's only escalated and escalated. Yeah. Because we've seen you be thrown into water. Yes. We've seen you drown in a river. We've yes. seen you hit a trollic with a board. Yes. And it seems that you have been the one who's just been thrown the most physically demanding scenes. Yeah. H how has that been? What was it like faking drown? Hopefully faking drowning. Uh, well, at times, not really. Um, yeah. Look, don't let the boys' muscles fool you. Okay. Yeah, they're not the only ones that have to be. No. Um, it's been great. I mean, look, the body's been through a lot of things, but um, we've we've made it here, okay, in one piece. But. Look, it's, it's just one of those jobs. This is the world and this is what the characters go through and um, it's amazing to, to to do that, not only emotionally go to those places with them, but physically. It's yeah. so important too. And like with the cliff, I was like, I can't have somebody else do that. This, this is a huge moment for Egwene and I've got to do it. Okay. So you, you may know? know this, probably not. I'm Egwene Alvere on Twitter. Um, she, she stole that from you. I love it. <laughs> she's my favorite character. Yay! So what is it like to play the best character in the Wheel of Time? I mean, <laughs> the best character probably in the world, I think, I've ever yeah. written, honestly. Um, no, it's it's a dream come true. You know, I just knew, I was like, whether I get this role or not, I will be so sad if I do not get this role. I'll quit acting, I'll, I'll quit. Um, but I, I, words cannot explain, and I'm just so thankful that Rafe and Kelly Hendry, who is our brilliant casting director, believed in me that I could do this and, you know, bring this, just, bring this character to... Bring justice to this character. <laughs> it's there we go, cold got that. and it's. Uh, no, 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 Oh, well, we've been tapped several times to let you go. This was incredible. Thank you, you guys. Yeah. Also, we love you guys online, and we love watching you guys, and you're amazing. Thank, Thank you. Know. We love you, too. Daniel, Come on. I'm saying goodbye. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Dusty Wheel. Oh, Critter has decided I shouldn't be allowed to see my audience. I have to go. I'm going to go watch the Wheel of Time now. Um, and uh, I'm going to go. So I love you all.